Okay, we were just on our break there. We, we just got a call of a suspect resisting arrest over here in uh, Legion Square area. We're pretty close by and we got Jasper in the back, so this will be perfect for us. If they're on foot, we're going to be sending the dog for sure. We're not even going to take any chances here because you know how things can get in Los Santos. Hi, my name is Adrian Martin and thanks for joining us today for another episode of Life PDFR. Down, we got shots fired. We got shots fired. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Right in the guardrail. Oh, we just got. We just got reports of a robbery down here in Great Sea. Oh shoot! We got an officer down. Officer down. Welcome. Tonight we're following Officer Carson and K9 Jasper with the Los Santos Police Department, Trooper Ross with the San Andreas Highway Patrol, and Deputy Raymond with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. We've got three cameras following all the action tonight. Let's get right back with Officer Carson and K9 Jasper who are responding to a suspect resisting arrest. So we're going to be on scene in just a second, right up here on the right. Oh yeah, he's on foot, he's on foot. K9-3, we're on scene. Let's go, Jasper. Come on, buddy. Let's get you out of the vehicle. Let's go. We've we got a suspect to run after. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Over here in Legion Square. All right, we're running. Oh, we got shots fired, shots fired. Come on, Jasper. Where are you at, buddy? Where are we shooting from? Where are we shooting from? Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Oh, right here, right here. Shots fired, shots fired. Jasper, be careful, be careful, be careful. Yeah, take him out, take him out. Sir, put the gun down now. Put the gun down now. Put it down, do not use it. Put it on the ground, put it on the ground. Jasper, you get ready to bite, okay? Oh, we got we got a man down over there. We got an officer injured. We're gonna need EMS once we get this guy cuffed. K93, we got one suspect in custody. We got an officer down. Let's get EMS on the scene now. All right, sir, go ahead and kneel down for me, okay? Until we get things figured out. Hey, are you okay? You okay? You okay? Oh, man, he's bleeding out real bad. He was moving a second ago. Let's go ahead and see if we can tend to him. K-93, we're going to go ahead and start CPR here. Okay, we're dealing with another one of these, you know, flippy flop guys who are standing up, but pretend he's on the ground. Listen to me, listen to me, officer. You, you, you there? You there? Come on. Okay, we got some breaths. One, two, three. Come on, come on, man. Get on up. Ah, oh, man, it's not not looking good for this guy right now. Let's just wait till the EMS gets on scene. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna stay next to him and make sure he's okay here. But we need some more units here so we can keep an eye on on this guy over there. Okay, now three. Go ahead and roll me some more units here. We got a we got the suspect who's not being kept at bay here. All right, luckily we got Jasper, so if that guy tries to run in his cuffs, we're just going to send Jasper. But man, he, he shot us, I'm pretty sure, uh, right in our vest, so we're okay, but man, that stung really bad. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, this is the officer right here. All right, he, he has some, uh, dude, are you good? Jeez. But uh, he's got a pulse and everything. He was breathing right now, but he's bleeding out really badly. If you guys can take care of him, that would be awesome. Okay, they're going to go ahead and check him out here. Right, and we're going to see if, if he can hopefully get up again and, and, and survive. But we're getting some more units on scene. Let's grab our flashlight so we can help out these uh, off, or these uh, these medics here. And we're going to try to keep a guy on that. A troop and I, oh, man. Keep an eye on that guy as well. It's, it's hard to talk after such an intense scene here. But, oh, shoot, EMS is, is not getting a response from him. That, oh, man, we even saw that go down, so that's not good. What's up, officer? Yeah, so this is going to be a whole crime scene now. This guy's going to be going down for murder on a peace officer. What's up, man? So how are you feeling after all that, huh? Get on up for me. Go ahead and turn around. I'm going to pat you down. I'm not going to cut this guy any sort of breaks after killing an officer like that. Holy cow. Okay, he's got a grenade. Again, we don't deal with grenades in Los Santos and a clown mask. So it's possible that he was going to be robbing something with his mask or whatever. But let's go ahead and get a pet check on it. K93, can I get a pet check on a Jackie Fierro? He's going to be date of birth 5 2 1996. 
Uh, he's coming back suspended, no warrants or anything. Okay, EMS is declaring that officer dead on scene, so... Man, that is not good. Okay, Jackie, let's get you out of, uh, let's get you out of here. Officers, you, you might take him to the station here. I'm going to go deal with the officer over here and figure this out. Jasper, you okay, buddy? I know you're hanging around here. I appreciate you being all calm in such a crazy situation. Man, glad Jasper was able to get a bite on that guy because that kind of disoriented him as we were we were trying to shoot him. Um, and then we were able to get him into custody without without having to kill him, which is our end goal there. We don't we don't want to do that. We want to be able to take people in alive. But unfortunately for this guy, we're gonna let's get a corner out here. This is just this is not good at all. Okay, can I get a corner? There we go. K93, can you go ahead and roll me a corner for a downed officer? Alright, we're going to have our supervisor come out on scene and everything. He's going to go ahead and, and document what goes on. Typically we do that. Uh, the supervisor comes on scene in, in any sort of situation like this where stuff goes down uh, and he just asks us what happened, documents everything so that he has something for his reports. But uh, we're going to go ahead and bring Jasper back to the vehicle and these officers are going to keep an eye on our, our downed unit there. Let's go, Jasper, back to the car, okay? We're gonna put you back in and into a nice, safe place. So let's go ahead and run back here. Really unfortunate for him, man. Really, really, really unfortunate. That is not how I wanted to spend my evening. I can tell you that much. So let's go ahead and put Jasper back here. My, oh right, my. Jasper, I'm the, really, really sorry you guys had to okay, see buddy, that, go but go good thing Officer Carson and K-9 Jasper were on scene. The very least to take that suspect into custody so he doesn't do any more damage. Let's check in with Trooper Ross. Looks like he's running radar. Anybody over 70 miles an hour, definitely getting pulled over today. Absolutely, definitely getting pulled over. So far, so good. Not seeing anybody that's speeding. Whoa, whoa, what's going on with Officer Carson in Los Santos? I thought he was clear. Let's go there right now. He's got lights flashing. Believe it or not, right when we were still on this call, Corners just picked up the other officer. We had somebody take off in a vehicle. They just stole it. So we're going to be chasing it right now. It's going to be this vehicle right here. Uh, we're going to call it in in a second, but we have more officers behind us that we're just leaving the scene as well. K9, K93, we're going to be heading southbound Elgin Avenue. It's going to be on this vehicle right in front of us. It looks like a... a four-door sedan. Uh, we're going Innocence Boulevard and Strawberry. Innocence, eastbound Innocence. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more units on this. Man, this was this was right in front of our eyes, but this guy obviously Dispatch, didn't care. Got eyes on the target. Let's we're go ahead and get some more units there. Backup needed in K93, Russia. we're still heading eastbound. Whoa, man. Oh my this god. Huge 1050. We're copy. still heading eastbound. Uh, Innocence Boulevard, we're taking a left-hand turn on Jamestown Street. My God, this guy in front of me is going insane. Let's try to put an end to this pursuit as fast as we can because we got a lot of people out on the streets tonight. Oh my God, that officer needs to learn how to drive. We got one in front of us. Let's make sure we don't hit him. Out of the way, man. Dispatch, we're westbound Lowenstein, southbound Lowenstein, southbound Lowenstein, correction. Okay, we're still on that vehicle. Let's see if we can get a plate on this. Oh, man. Hitting the brakes real hard. He's just 1050, 1050, 1050. We're gonna be Lowenstein and Carson. Lowenstein and Carson. Let's go ahead and box him in. Let's get him right here. Sir, out of the vehicle. Out of the vehicle. Do not move. Let's get Jasper. Let's get Jasper. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, Jasper. Come on. Follow me. He's right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we're heading, uh We're heading westbound Carson. Where is he? It's gonna be on a mail. Let's go, Jasper. Get him, yeah, buddy. Get him. Get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right here, right here. Sir, stop running. Stop running now. It's gonna be on a Hispanic male wearing a white shirt. We got him down right here, Carson and, and bro. Sir, stop moving, okay? Stop moving. Stop moving. Okay, he, he looks like he's down. He's really hurt, sir. Sir, stop moving, okay? Get on the ground, get on the ground. Keep those hands up. Keep those hands up. Let's get some more units bag. to the scene here. Assistance required. Yeah, we need more units. We got one at gunpoint. We're on Brogan Carson. Dog bite was successful. Dog bite was successful. He's staying on the ground right now. On standby. Sir, just don't move, okay? We're going to wait till we get some more units on scene before we put you in cuffs. Jasper, just keep an eye on him, okay? Hey, you guys get on out of here, please. We got a scene going on. 
Yeah, you don't care, do you, huh? Stay right there, sir. All right, do we have more units on scene with us? Yeah, we do, okay. Let's go ahead and put this guy in, in cuffs. Sir, putting you in cuffs, just get on up for me, okay? I don't know what you're thinking tonight, trying to steal a vehicle right in front of our eyes. I'm on your but go ahead and turn around for me, I'm gonna pat you down, okay? We got more units coming on scene here. Let's go ahead and call this in once we're good. Let's see what he's got. A used condom, man, and a car key fob, so that was probably used to steal a vehicle. Uh, we're gonna keep that in our evidence. K93, we got one 1015 scene's gonna be code four. You can go ahead and reuse units. All right, so his name's Jake Thompson. Uh, let's go ahead and run his name. Okay, let's go ahead and see. City, can you go ahead and run a, a Jake Thompson, date of birth 7-11-1982? It's gonna be our suspect. Okay, he's coming back expired, uh, no active warrant at this time. Okay, so vehicle's all the way back there. We're gonna let this guy get taken care of by our units here. Uh, we don't need to walk him back to this scene. And hey, one of you guys might take him to the station for me and, and doing the paperwork. Okay, he's got him. Jasper, let's go, buddy. You did a good job. So he's gonna get taken to the station. He's he's probably gonna get taken to the ambu or uh, to the hospital once they get to the station for his dog bite. He he didn't respond too well to that. I'll tell you that much. The dog bite hurts, man. The dog bite absolutely hurts. I know when I was training with Jasper, uh, we would have to be. You know, we'd go through tests where we would have the dog bite us with, you know, a huge Kevlar sheet over our arms just in case Jasper accidentally took us for one of the suspects. Luckily, as the handler, though, we don't really get that that much. It's really the other officers that are on the scene that uh, he might he might bite because he doesn't know them that well and everything. So uh, let's go ahead and put Jasper in the back here. Hey, Jasper, come on, buddy. You did a good job. Another good one. Wow, Officer Carson and K-9 Jasper could not get a break tonight. Let's go see what's going on with Deputy Raymond and Sandy Shores. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting reports of a, a basically a rape attempt is what dispatch is notifying, of, uh, notifying us of. Um, they're telling us that the caller is extremely disoriented and they want us to go check on her. Um, she notified dispatch that basically somebody tried to throw her inside of a vehicle and attempt to rape her, which is absolutely not good, especially out here in Sandy Shores late at night. So let's go ahead and respond code three here. We're about on scene. Uh, call, dispatch was telling us it was in this area. So let's go ahead and, and reduce here and we'll go ahead and do a quick search of the area. We're looking for a female that's possibly disoriented. Because she's disoriented, I wouldn't be surprised if she's out, you know, in one of these mountain hill areas or something because she's not too sure where she is. Uh, it's possible that she's been drugged as well from our suspect. Um, that was trying to put her in the inside the vehicle. I'm not seeing anybody at this time Let's go ahead and keep searching here uh, Still not seeing anybody in this area. Let's go ahead and go on the back roads over here Let's go and turn that off. We'll, we'll turn our takedowns on uh, so we can get a very wide light here But we got some back roads over here off of Joshua Road. That's that kind of parallels the railroad system so it's possible that this activity happened. Oh, yeah. There she is right there. There she is. 1 and 14. I'm going to be on scene with that uh, that victim here. Uh, we're going to be a parallel of westbound Joshua Road right by the train tracks. Uh, she seems to be okay at this time. We're going to be code 4 for right now. All right. Let's go see what's going on. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing tonight? Are you okay? A man just pulled you into his car and attempted to rape you. Oh, my God. Okay, do you need an ambulance or anything? Are you okay? Do you have any information about the suspect? You know, what he looks like, what he was driving. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what happened? He's driving a white tailgater with the plate number starting with 14Y. Okay, great job, ma'am. Great job. It's good that you got some license plate there for us to investigate with. We'll try to find him. So, again, please tell me, are you injured at all tonight? Can you give me a ride home? Well, I'm not sure that I can give you a ride home, ma'am. We're going to do the investigation on the suspect, but I will be calling you uh, a taxi or a friend, okay? So give me one second. I'll call a taxi if that's okay with you. Okay, one second. Hello, uh, Sandy Shore Taxi. Can I get a taxi out here, a parallel Joshua Road? I got, this is uh, the deputy 
from Blaine County Sheriff's Department. I got a, a victim out here who needs to be taken home, if that's okay with you guys. Okay, you have a great day, man. We'll go ahead and do the investigation. No okay, way. so we're looking for a white tailgater. Let's go ahead and report that in here. Let's get out of the way of the taxi here so he can get home. Okay. One out in 14 County. Uh, suspect or victim is notifying that she was taken into a white tailgater. Starting with 14Y. Okay, dispatch is already coming back with an AN ALPR system that's got a hit on that vehicle. Uh, looks like it's going to be up on Joshua Road. Uh, let's go ahead and hit on that way. We're going to go ahead and parallel here. This road takes us all the way to the end of Joshua as we get over to Stab City area. So we're going to go ahead and investigate. Looks like they're actually... All right, we'll come right back when he gets closer to that vehicle. Let's go to Trooper Ross. He's surprisingly not seen anybody go over 70 yet. Oh, right here, right here, right here. We got a bagger going 72. That's going to be that's going to be a beautiful one to pull over. Oh, my God, dude. Out of the way, man. Okay, it's going to be this bagger right in front of us. He was going 72 miles per hour. And we got him locked on the radar. He's going to be the one we're going to pull over tonight. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and get a plate check on him when we can. Just to see if he's got any warrants. If there's anything else we need to worry about on this guy. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get up close to, to see what his, his plate number is here. One out of 11 highway. Can I get a plate check? Nope, it's not going to be on a cockhead. That's for sure. Can I get a plate check on a bagger? It's going to be 05 George George Sam 362. Come back to a John McGimmels. Target is 10 4. Okay, he's coming back clear as far as we know, according to dispatch. But uh, let's go ahead and light him up here. All right, while well, he does that, let's go back to Sandy Shores with Deputy Raymond. He's behind that suspect suspected of rape. One out in 14 County. We got that vehicle inside. I'm right behind him right now. We're heading eastbound, heading towards Sandy Shores on Joshua Road. We're going to be passing the Ace Liquor at this time. If you can go ahead and start rolling me some code twos at this time so we can pull this guy over safely, we'll do a, we'll do a code five stop. All right, basically I told, whoops, I told the uh, county there that we're going to be doing a code five stop, which essentially means... Um, in our terms, that that's going to be a felony stop. Felony stop is when you have multiple units that come up behind you on a traffic stop. We pull out our guns, our weapons, and everything, and we tell we tell the driver and the occupants of the vehicle to get on out with their hands up. It's in a high risk situation like this one where we had somebody who assaulted a female. Uh, we have no idea if they have any weapons in the vehicle or anything, but we know for darn sure that they probably don't want to be stopped and taken to jail. Okay, it looks at this time like he might be taking off from us. One out of 14. We're heading eastbound. I got him lit up. Looks like it's going to be a failure to yield. We might be taking off at this time. Okay, we're... Uh, well, he might be stopping. I'm not too sure what he's doing, but he's really thinking about it. One out of 14. We're going to be stopping, looks like, right in front of the police station on Joshua Road. Right in front of the police station, Joshua Road. Go ahead and send me some more units. We're going to do code 5. All right, because this guy took absolutely forever to stop, we're going to get some more units out here. Let's do a full-on felony stop. Backup needed in Luckily, we have, we have multiple units out here in the county tonight that are available, so we're going to get him out here. I was only going to have one unit behind us to do a, a little, basically a mini version of a felony stop, but since we got the units available and this guy was taking absolutely forever to stop, we're going to go ahead and, and do the full now. thing here. Let's go ahead and line him up with the spotlight. And we're going to get on out with our weapon as well. Copy, dispatch. All right, boys. Is in the area. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of his vehicle. Driver of the vehicle, the step on out with your hands well, up. Keep him up and walk on back to the sound of my voice. Oh, he's taking off. He's taking off. Is there anybody else inside the vehicle? Anybody else? Step on out, okay? Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's, let's go help on our other deputies here. Stop running, sir. Stop running. Get on the ground on your knees. On your knees, on the ground, hands out to your side, and do not move, okay? You better listen to us right now. Deputy, you got him. Okay, good. Get this guy in cuffs. Okay, stop moving. We are code four. Is, is this our suspect? No further units required. Yes, um, suspect ain't dead. But anyway, hello, sir. I'm going to move you back over to the scene of the crime, okay? Or back to the scene of our vehicles. Just go ahead and cooperate with me. I don't know what you're doing tonight, but basically, so I can explain what's going on. We got we got somebody calling us in 
that uh, you attempted to rape them. You know, you attempted to rape them. You put them in your vehicle, and and bad things were happening. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do our investigation. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state of San Andreas will provide you oh, one. Okay, do you oh understand God. those? Okay, good. Now give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and check your vehicle. Uh, deputy, mind keeping an eye on this guy real quick? We're also going to run the plate real quick. Let's go ahead and do that first. One Adam, 14 County. Can I got a plate check on a one four Young? Target vehicle license plate. Lincoln one, Tom, four, six young, nine eight. Ida, Tom, oh, six Ida. Nine eight. Okay, it's come a back with an outstanding issue. warrant as well. So this, this is probably not a good guy. But uh, real quick, you saw me double check if there were any occupants inside of the vehicle before I was uh, going after the suspect. Reason for that is he could have had a friend or a buddy inside of the vehicle that's got a gun and ready to shoot us as we run by. So that's why it's really important that us deputies check the vehicle before we go, you know, running after the the shiny object, which is the sub the the suspect at this point. So let's go ahead and search the vehicle. Let's see what he's got in here. Man, he's got a bunch of shit. Okay, he's got a camera, a human skull. Not really sure what, what's going on there. It's possible that it's a fake. Uh, he's got a bottle of bleach on the passenger side. I'm really not too sure what he was planning to do tonight with this unfortunate young lady. But uh, glad she was able to get taken care of. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hello, sir. Okay, so I already read you your rights. Do you want to talk to me tonight? Okay. So Good thing they were able to get this guy off the streets. All right, let's go back to Trooper Ross. Oh, boy, he's asking that biker about his speed. You're late for an appointment. Okay, that's unacceptable still. If you're late for an appointment, you should probably leave earlier. Okay, I can smell some alcohol coming from your breath. Have you been drinking at all tonight, sir? Never had a drink in your life? Okay, well, do you have your registration, proof of insurance, license yep. on the vehicle? Let's go ahead and start with that. Okay, John McGimmels. All right. Go ahead and step on off the the bike for me, okay? I don't want you uh, riding off tonight with with your with your vehicle. Stand by. And uh, let's go ahead and, go ahead and follow me off to the side of the road here. We're gonna get an additional unit on scene. One Adam Eleven. Go ahead and roll me a code two. Sir, this this way, right over here, okay? Backup needed. Perfect. And textile city. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to sit on the ground while I run your information, okay? And we get another unit on scene. I don't want you running off or doing anything stupid like that. Let's go ahead and run his name. We'll keep an eye on him real quick as, as we're doing that. But uh, it's 12 over the limit. Little alcohol coming from his breath. It's not a good sign. Not a good combination. So let's go ahead and run his name here. Uh, he's going to be coming back. John McGimmels. He's all valid. He doesn't have any arrest records, but he's been cited for reckless endangerment and proper passing littering. So, okay. Nothing too crazy there. On the motorcycle itself, everything's clear. So let's go ahead and do an investigation on the alcohol and see if he's been driving drunk tonight. Okay, let's go see. Sir, go ahead and step up for yeah, me. I see you. We're going to go ahead and do a little investigation on why we're, we're smelling some alcohol coming from your breath. Make sure you're okay to drive. You go ahead and look at my pen here. We're going to be shifting it left to right. I want you to keep your head perfectly straight and only move your eyes. No, sir. Move your eyes only. You don't move your head. Your eyes only. My God, this guy is a total numbskull. Okay, he failed that one. Let's go ahead and do a, a walk and turn. Sir, I want you to walk and turn on this line right behind you, okay? You're going to do 10 paces heel to toe, back, and 10 paces back. You understand that? Go on ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, turn around. He's definitely veered off the line. I can tell you that much because the line is uh, not, not where he is. Okay, let's go ahead and see. He failed that one. Yep. All right, sir. I'm going to go ahead and place you under arrest for suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol today. Go ahead and turn around the for me. The boys are going to love you. Uh, my partner here has got a breathalyzer, so we'll go ahead and breathalyze him as well. Uh, he's, uh, he's a DUI unit, so he's got that in his vehicle. Okay, sir. Do you have anything illegal on you that we should we should be worried about? You don't want to go to jail. I understand that, but I'm going to go ahead and pat you down, okay, since you're going to be going to jail tonight. So let's see what you got. Binoculars and a Bic lighter. Okay, so that that's pretty standard stuff. So I'm going to have my partner here. Uh, he's going to run a breathalyzer on you, okay? Go ahead and get a breath sample to see if you are driving under the influence of alcohol and to what degree. See what Thank that you. comes back with. 
0.096. Legal limit in the state of San Andreas is a 0.08 or below. Uh, so he is over the limit for sure. So we're going to go ahead and, and search his bike here. See if he's got anything here that we can add to the charges. But there's absolutely zero tolerance for driving drunk in the state of San Andreas. Uh, nothing of interest on his bike. So he must have been drinking before he got on his motorcycle, which at least for that, he did that. So, oh, well, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, well, this confirms that I never want to get pulled over by Trooper Ross ever in my life. All right, let's go back to Deputy Raymond and Sandy Shores. He's asking that rape suspect if he's got anything on him. Perhaps you have some. Okay, well, we're going to find that out right now. You bet. You really should be up front with us because if we do find anything illegal, it's going to be another charge on you. Let's go in and see. Okay, he's got a handgun, a gag, and a condom. So this guy absolutely was up to no good tonight. I think we've, we've confirmed that completely now with everything that was in the car and on his person. Okay, sir. Can you tell us what you were doing tonight? You were just hanging around. Okay, that's what we're afraid of. Uh, can you tell us where you're coming from at all? Coming from home, okay. And where are you going? You were going to see a friend. Okay, I'm not too sure about that one. We're just going to get this guy booked. We're going to get him out of here. We're going to get the vehicle towed. Um, and he's going to be going in for suspicion of of rape, essentially. We'll have our victim uh, write up a report when she is, you know, all out of shock and everything like that. So... Let's go ahead and, Deputy, you can go ahead and take this guy out of here. Required in Sandy Shores. Uh, we'll, let's go run his name real quick to see what what his uh, warrant is for, if he is the registered owner of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and say here. I believe his name... Okay, this is him right here, Alexander Vardia. Vardia. He does not have a warrant, according to our MDT here. Uh, but he has been arrested before for sexual assault. So this is a repeat offender, unfortunately. Um, and the vehicle is going to be the tailgater. It belongs to a Miss Tracy Manson. Um, so it's possible that they have the warrant, which they do. And looks like she is one of our fellow deputies. And she's gotten a warrant for destroying or concealing evidence. Um, I do not recall this situation happening in our department, but it's possible that it happened recently. And uh, I guess we're on the lookout for one of our deputies. Uh, not too sure. That's a little strange. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a tow out for this. And we'll be good to go. One out of 14 Perfect. County. Can That's you go ahead and roll me a tow for uh, a, a vehicle, please? Copy that. Thank you. All right. We're getting the tow out here. And we're going to go ahead and... and Get back on patrol. All right. I'm sorry, everybody. We are out of time for Life PDFR tonight. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's episode for another brand new one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we will see you tomorrow. Have a good night.